Alrighty, good day folks. My name is Thomas Riley Poole and today I'm going to be doing a new self-portrait on this canvas. Biggest canvas I've actually ever painted on, so this is going to be a lot of fun. I don't really know how I'm going to attack this self-portrait, so I'm kind of just going to wing it and just whatever I feel like doing, I'll do it I guess. I do have a subject I'm going to be painting from, so this is a self-portrait that I'm going to be trying to capture onto the big canvas, but obviously instead of crayon, I'm going to be doing with acrylics, because that's what we're working with today. So, I don't have too much else to say about that, so all I can say now is let's just get straight stuck into it. Alrighty, cheers. So, I'm actually going to call it for today and get another fresh start on tomorrow. 
the reason I'm doing that is because I've actually ran out of the colours that I need to continue. So tomorrow morning I'm going to have to duck out to the shops and get some new paint. And another factor is that the camera keeps running out of the battery, it's on low charge, so if I did charge a battery, I know for a fact that the sun would have already set over the mountains by the time it's finished charging, so all stars aren't aligned right now, so I feel that I'll just give it a little rest and get a better start on it tomorrow. But in saying that, I'm really happy with how it's coming out. I wasn't really too sure how it was going to look, to be honest, but it's actually, it's getting there, it's getting there, slowly but surely. I'm actually really liking how it's looking right now, so very excited to start on it again tomorrow. Alright, so I was just going to pop on and let you have some information, and I've done that now, so I'm going to pack up and head home. Alright, cheers. Also, I do, because I've looked back at the clips I've recorded and I've seen that it probably wasn't the best lighting or where I had the easel set up. Maybe the sun was shining in behind, which is why I popped the cardboard behind it, because I could tell that the sun was shining through the canvas and it's not a very ideal thing to have if you're trying to film yourself. Obviously, you want the best quality for the camera and all that and I feel that I uh, wasn't getting that too much at the start of this video so maybe tomorrow I might set the easel up in a different section of the room just somewhere where the light's hitting it a bit better and yeah so that's another thing that I just wanted to say alright cheers
folks. And I'm back again the next day. And I think I'm going to move this easel to a different section of the room so that I'll, the light will be hitting it a bit better. You guys will actually get to see what I'm doing to this thing. Alrighty, no worries. a lot better already so now all I can do is just get straight into it no mucking about stop my blabbering on <laughs> Alrighty. So I'm back this morning, set the easel up in a new location so it might be a bit better for your viewing. It's a bit easier to see because the light's hitting it now. And I've got my paints and all that, battery's fully charged so there's not much else I can say other than that. So what I can say now is let's just get straight into it and see if we can finish this thing off today. Alright, cheers.
so there we have it folks. The new self-portrait done, done and dusted. I'm actually really happy with how it came out. I'm not going to lie, the nose was a bit, bit of um, a challenge for me. I'm not too used to doing noses, but I feel like I really kicked this one off, so very happy with how it came out. So I just realised something else we needed to add. That's the thing with painting, you never really know when to stop. You can always just keep going. But I'm gonna call it quits right there before I go too far and I can't turn back. <laughs> Alright, so all I can say now is thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like it. And if you've liked it more than that, don't forget to give the channel a subscribe because it'll mean a lot to me and also help a lot. Alright, cheers. Oh, and just before I go, I'll pop the camera off the tripod and get you a closer look. Alright, cheers, no worries. Folks, I'm back again, and it has been a couple of days since I finished my self portrait. But I'm back in the studio again to record myself just to let you on in information that the yellow that I used on this canvas was in fact watercolour. So, it, and obviously, if you use watercolour without any water and big clumps of it, it eventually cracks. So, the nose has started to crack, and the forehead, the hands are not too bad because I only used like a thin layer of the paint but obviously on the nose I used a lot of paint so it has cracked a whole bunch so and I only just found that out now I just came in to check out the painting and have a look at it since it's been dried and I noticed all the crackings and all that so what I'm going to do is just go back and chip it off and I'll record myself as I'm doing this and then I might mix up some new paint or mix up a new batch of yellow and then layer that on and see how we go. Alright, so yeah, that's all I just wanted to say. Okay, no worries. So I'm sure, as you can see, that it's started uh, to crack up along here. And then also, it's started to crack up here as well. So I'm just going to go through I maybe just chip off the paints that are loose. I'm sure you can see on the board as well. Crack paint. it's cracked up a bit so I'm sure you guys saw just then so yeah I'm just gonna go through
chip off. What isn't wanted, and then layer it on with some new paint. It's a bit disappointing, but I don't know, you all make mistakes, so I just should have been more aware of what paints I was picking up to mix with. Well, I probably wouldn't have had this problem. Alright, so I'm just going to go through and pick out the paints and record myself, so yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. And just when you think that the painting is finished, there's always more to do to it, so yeah. It's not too bad. I mean, it could be worse. The whole thing could have been watercolour and the whole thing would have been cracked up. Shops just to fix up the cracked watercolor that actually got into the mix of the portrait. But uh, so yeah, so I feel like I've done a good job. I've done a couple alterations. I've altered it a little bit with um, adding some more yellow oranges, just so it's not so pink. Because I well, like, I'll, I'm really happy with how it came out, but then I did feel like it might have been too much pink. So yeah, I've just kind of got some oranges in there just to even it out a little bit. So I wasn't looking like a pig too much, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, so I feel like, I don't even know if I'm really done with the self-portrait yet. So I feel like I'm, this might end up becoming one of those ongoing works where you can just keep adding to it. To... Yeah, so I feel like I've done what I can today, so I'll let it rest. I'll come back to it once it's dried up again and see how I feel. But yeah, well, in the meantime, I'll keep it the way it is. Alrighty, well, cheers for coming around and thanks for watching. Yeah, so I feel like I'll just leave it the way it is for now and get back to the drawing board of it later on. But yeah, now I'll just come and fix it up a little bit. So I'll just, I'll let that sit, I'll let that dry. And then the next couple of days I'll come in, if I'm happy with it, then I'll run my way through the painting and film a little outro, but in the meantime I'm just going to let it sit and let it dry up. Yeah. Alright, better not touch it anymore.
Alright, like, so I've done a couple alterations to it since I've been here, the following day from the last time I was recording. I've just put a... just noticed a couple bits of cracks up there. Anywho, um, I've done a couple alterations, so I've got some orange on the nose here, just to make it so not so pink and pig-like. And did some orange down here on the fingertips last night and a bit more on the hands this morning and so it is a bit different to what it was originally going to be but I'm actually still really in love with it and I feel like the orange and the yellows are evening out the pink so it's not just like one colour in a way, you know what I mean? So yeah, I feel like I've done an excellent job and I feel like finally this is well, I can do to it, so I believe that we're finally done on this painting, so yes. It's pretty good, I'm very happy with how it came out. And I'm looking forward to the next self portrait. Don't know when that's going to be, probably after I sell this one. But yeah, I've just noticed here, up here on the forehead, a couple of cracks. I'm not too sure why. Maybe that's because I had watercolor underneath it. But anyway, I'm, I'm happy with it. I feel like I don't really need to do any more to it, and I'll leave it as that. So yes. All right. Well, all I can say now, finally say now. Hopefully, I won't start filming myself again tomorrow and add more to it. I feel like I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But yeah, so all I can say now is thanks for watching, thanks for viewing the video and if you like the video make sure to give it a like and if you've liked it more than that don't forget to give the channel a subscribe. Alright, cheers for that and I'll catch you guys later. Oh, and one more thing before I do go, I'll pop the camera off the tripod and get you a closer look at the painting so you can see all the fine details and all that. Alrighty, no worries. Catch you back later.
know what you're thinking. You, th you thought the video was over, but don't speak too soon because there are some last minute touch ups that I feel like I want to add to it. And I'm going to record myself for this one, so you're just going to have to bear with me on this. Alright, cheers.